Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a product review. It's the Walker's Baked Watsits. Now this is the Flaming Hot Flavour. And uh, this was kindly sent to me by uh, a viewer and subscriber of mine, Joanna Butler. Thank you to Joanna Butler, big shout out to you. Uh, on the back it reads that there's, uh, there's a really cheesy flavour and there's also sizzling steak. Now I'm used to the cheese, I've never seen the steak ones, so there's something to look out for. Flaming hot, normally I'd avoid these, I'm not, I'm not big on uh, spicy, spicy stuff, but I do like the cheese, so let's give it a go. Right. Hmm. There you go, hold it there. There's a slight what do you call that? Pepper or spice, rather. There's a slight spice smell. Not much. Now, the first impression is they look very similar to what I'm used to, the cheese ones, but they look smaller. It might be my imagination, because it's been a while since I've eaten the Watsits. Okay, but uh, but yeah, you know, they look, they look a little bit smaller. Now, let's... Uh, uh, oh, and the, and the colour. The colours are quite a golden... The colors are golden, a light golden brown. So that's interesting, it's very nice. Okay, and there we go. There's a lot of air in the pack. As usual, they're about halfway. Okay, here we go, the flavor. Mm. Actually, they, they melt. I mean, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm chewing it, but you really don't need to chew it because it actually, <laughs> it melts into nothing on your tongue. Wow, it's all, it disintegrates. It's there. Uh, dissolving a little bit quicker than the, uh, the ones, the, the other ones, the cheese. I don't know why, because I mean, it'd be the same thing. Yeah. So that's really interesting. It, it, it melts into nothing on your on your tongue. As for the flavour, I've had half a dozen now. There's a slight warmness. If I was doing a, a blind taste test, I'd probably say that these were like a spicy flavour, but not flaming hot, like it says on the. Uh, on the packet, which is not really a complaint, just an observation. Because if they were flaming hot, my mouth would be burning about now. But, hmm, not unpleasant. Yeah, I could eat, I could quite easily eat uh, quite a bunch of these. I would need a drink, which I've got a a libation here because while it's not hot it is sort of there is a spice flavor yeah it's a shame that they're not thicker and bigger like um like the cheese ones i'm sure they're i'm sure the cheese ones are bigger but they decided to make these small yeah, all in all, not bad at all, you know? Um, I was surprised that when it says flaming hot, I was expecting hotter. It's actually lower than mild, you know? Um, you know how you get food products with a, with a one pepper, two pepper, three pepper, like on pizzas, you buy them out of the co-op. If this had a pepper scale, it would be Well, one, maybe slightly under one, to tell you the truth. Maybe, uh, you know, half to three quarters of a pepper. Yeah, not hot at all. Just a little bit spicy, which is very good. Yeah, I'll enjoy this. All right, so that's that. Like I say, on the back, you've got the regular cheese flavour and you've got sizzling steak 
flavour, which I've, I've not seen before. But uh, that's perhaps something to look out for. Anyway, yeah, worth a go. I don't know how much these cost. It says they're new on the top, but, you know, no telling how old they're, how long they keep them on for. Hmm, but worth a try, I think. If you if you if you have a low tolerance to hot stuff, spicy stuff like me, don't worry because these are not all that hot and spicy. They're actually very mild, you know. Anyway, there you have it. Thank you once again to Joanna Butler for sending me this. I'm going to do another review and uh, of something else she sent. And thank you very much. Please leave a comment uh, if you like the video and if you found this helpful. Uh, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, all that usual stuff, and it'll, it'll uh, help with the algorithm kind of stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.